We're trialling the added technology to our smallest unmanned system, the AR4, um, to enable manned-on-man -man teaming, um, so to allow operators to use this system from within a vehicle while they're doing their other roles. As this programme shows, they're aware that the current crop of unmanned systems aren't really um, usable in the kind of ways that they're looking to use them because of the operator burden. So programs like this that are to do with reducing the operator burden on these systems to allow their wider use in other aspects are fantastic. And this is true in military as well as civilian domains. So if you think about things like search and rescue helicopters and things like that, being able to use the technology developed here on, on Salisbury Plain and with the military into these civilian aspects is a real kind of, it's a win-win for everybody. So the equipment has performed really well, actually. So we've been demonstrating path planning, automated planning around a dynamic airspace environment, as well as um, automated target recognition during the flight. So that enables the operators to not have to continuously watch the screen and freeze them up to do their, their other activities. So it's been going really well so far. So working with the military guys has been absolutely invaluable. It's been one of the main reasons to kind of do this kind of work. So. We try to get as much operator feedback into our systems and the development as possible and being out here on the, on the plane with them has provided really great feedback for us to take this forward and to, to move forward and get it into our product lines. Working with DSL has been really good, getting them at different points during the development phases and showing them how the technology has been evolving as well as getting their operator embeds, the military embeds feedback and um, helping us on the operational side of how these systems are going to be used and actually getting in and seeing the the kind of kit that it's going to be used on um, it's been really valuable. We've been involved in the last three Army warfighting experiments um, and we're involved in the AW20 as well. Um, so the continued involvement of us into these programs kind of suggests that they are, they are useful and you get a lot of things that aren't necessarily tangible benefits in terms of the operator feedback, um, interaction with the people who are going to use it, other companies, you get to see the direction that things are going and actually test out and trial your systems against real target sets and real scenarios.